Hi, what's cooking? I'm Bella and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make homemade vegan ricotta. This recipe I used soy milk, so let's go over the list of ingredients. Unsweetened, unflavored soy milk, white vinegar, salt, and white pepper. You're gonna see this is a very simple and easy process. Don't blink it, because you might actually miss it, but you are gonna need some very important tools. Um, I don't have the cheese mold yet. I did buy it on Amazon, so next time I make it, I will have a beautiful looking ricotta, but a chinois will work. I have a fine mesh chinois. You do wanna have cheesecloth. If you don't have a cheesecloth, you can use, um, I wouldn't recommend a kitchen towel, but something to put over your chinois before you put the mixture in. And a thermometer would be very helpful, but if you don't have a thermometer, don't worry, because the first time I actually made it, I didn't use my thermometer and it turned out just perfect. So let's get to it. Again, the milk is soy milk. Now I did try this with um, almond milk and cashew milk and it did not work. So the soy milk has seven grams of protein per serving, while the almond and cashew only have two grams, and what's going to coagulate is the protein in the milk, so that's probably why it didn't work out. So I just added the milk to the pan. I'm going to bring it to almost a boil over high heat. I'm going to add the white peppercorn. Not sure if you can see, but it's already starting to heat up. You can see some evaporation starting. Now you can see how the milk is starting to almost wanting to start boiling. You see that, how it's moving? So I'm at 130 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm going to turn it off. So I remove from the heat. I'm going to remove the thermometer and now I'm going to add the white vinegar to my milk and just stir it a little bit just to kind of mix it all together. And you can see it, that it's already starting to coagulate. I'm going to wait about a couple minutes, two minutes, and then I'll add the salt. Look at this, how incredible. Wow. So now I'm going to add the salt. I'm going to sprinkle all over my milk. Stir it a little bit as well. My mixture has been sitting here for about 30 minutes. So the milk slash ricotta has already coagulated. So now we're just going to scoop it out all that coagulation. Um, you can also use regular milk. I have recently changed my diet to a plant-based diet, so that's why I'm experimenting with different ingredients, but you can follow this recipe and just use regular milk. I'm done scooping it out, so I am going to place this in the refrigerator. Um, there's a little bit of water that has already oops, accumulated, and you can discard that. So, tomorrow, your ricotta is ready. This is all you have to do. I told you this was very easy and fast and simple. So I hope you like this. So this is the final result. Again, this has been sitting in the refrigerator overnight. When it's ready, just flip it over a plate. I am going to use this plus the recipe that I just made for you um, to make a spinach and ricotta pie. So don't forget to hit the bell and get notified every time a new recipe drops. If you like this tutorial, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. This is how you help support the channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.